Hey, this is Spencer with Out in Live Nation, aka Buddha Man. I was doing the next installment of the uh, Play Pack 200 Challenge. Um, it's actually over now, but um, this was recorded a little while ago. Um, looks like we're going into Shining in the Darkness first. <laughs> then again, uh, these are obviously sped up a lot. Um, really not too much going on in this game yet, but, uh, this is a pretty cool game, uh, for Genesis title. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I thought the art style was pretty cool. With this, uh, the way it's animated. I always find it so funny, uh, in these older games, the mustaches they give their characters. It's actually another game that had a pretty good uh, quick launch menu for its time. That's always good to have in games, uh, even now. <coughs> where you'll find a lot of these Sega Genesis titles, uh, especially like the RPG style ones, is if you're you know looking for a game that you can hop in with action. It's not going to happen, there's going to be a lot of story to it. Um, and what's going on here, I actually had a problem with the controller. It wouldn't let me go to another character for a little bit. Um, but you can see here, you can talk to different characters, which is a nice touch. Um, and you got to keep in mind the time period this is made in, uh, and what games are like them. You know, um, not saying necessarily that's uh, something very new, but... Uh, here you can see a little bit of the fighting in this game. Um, kind of similar to, if you think, like the more old school style uh, turn based fighting in Final Fantasy. Um, so I think a lot of RPG fans are probably like this game. Um, or probably already like this game. Most likely, if you're not a fan of any of these Sega Genesis games, you probably won't check them out too much. Unless you're looking to get more involved in that old school gaming. Hey, right, now we're going into Gunstar Heroes. This was uh, another side scroller. I know personally I'm a big fan of side scrollers, especially um, more fast paced ones. But not necessarily like Sonic more of a like shooter fighter style and, and it's not like you really get a lot of side scrollers now so uh, just some indie titles uh, this is definitely a fun one though uh, if you're looking for a game to, it's pretty action packed in the beginning so you have a little bit of a uh, leeway with your choices you choose different weapons Like I said, this is pretty fast paced. Uh, obviously, this is sped up. It's This would be insane, but. And that's why you notice uh, frame skipping and stuff, too. Uh, this game actually ran really smoothly um, compared to some of the Genesis titles, which do have some skipping issues. Uh, I know a few of the Sonic games have that problem. Um, this is uh, the first boss in it. <clears throat> which is a pretty awkward shaped boss, but uh, it was an interesting boss battle. That's one good thing in side scrollers. They really have to be creative uh, for the boss battles, to boss battles to make them challenging. Uh, I gave it a pretty good challenge for an old game. It's definitely one I'll check out more. That's another Sonic title. There's quite a few in the playback. 
It's a Personic fan, that's good. Like I was saying before, and some of them um, don't control very well. And I believe this one, it had a little bit of skipping. Um, but compared to the other ones, it was handled really well. I mean, if you're not familiar with Sonic games, I don't even know what to say to you, basically. Um, I mean, everyone's seen it before. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, action-packed side-scroller, fast-paced, uh, the combat in it's based on spinning and jumping on your enemies, probably. I actually see, uh, you can see some of the color issues there. I actually didn't have much trouble this game until right before I finished, as you can see. And it's another Sonic game. I believe I had more trouble with this one. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the video sped up, but I'm pretty sure this one skipped a lot. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, the video actually breaking up in this even though it is so sped up, um, especially you notice in the bushes that uh, they kind of fade out, um, became pixelated, and that was happening when the video was skipping so much. Um, it looks a lot worse with this sped up so much, but it was an issue. Um, I'm not sure if everyone experiences that, but you can see it was giving me trouble too. Um, in controlling. Because um, what was happening in this game, it would skip and then it'd be a couple seconds ahead and in a different spot, so with such a fast paced game that can be a real issue. Um, so definitely not my favorite Sonic game in the play pack, but if you're a Sonic fan, which a lot of people are, um, I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but um, mostly just not very good at it. Um, like I was saying, I like more of a action fighting style size scroller uh, or platformer. Um, I am missing a few of the Genesis titles. Uh, I eventually we'll go back and re-record them. If there's any uh, Genesis titles to you don't feel I like covered properly, uh, you have a very different opinion on it or what have you, uh, feel free to do a video response. I mean, as long as it's all appropriate, uh, I'll prove it. Uh, it's another Genesis title I'm sure most people will recognize. Um, at least people that grew up in that time are, are a fan of the Sega Genesis. Uh, it's another good <coughs> side scroller fighter. Um, it's, uh, Street Fighter is the first one. Uh, it's a little more slow paced than the second one. Uh, just the actual characters moving. The animation's a lot slower than the second one. Uh -uh. So if you're not familiar with either one, and you're looking to try one out, you might want to try the second one. You know, personally, I think it plays a little better, but. This is classic stop, fight, go, uh, which is pretty common in fighters for the side scroller. That's really uh, the Street Raids series is kind of a staple in that genre of gaming. So a lot of other games you'll see are very similar to it. Like I was saying, this one is the second one. It's a lot more fast-paced. Um, it 
does have a added amount of moves. So the fighting is mixed up a little bit. You have a uh, each character has more of a special move. It's uh, much easier to pull off. I don't recall um, if there is any special moves in the first Street Fighter. I wasn't an avid fan of the series. I do enjoy it though. It's definitely a game I go back and play. And then, yeah, if you're not familiar with Street Fighter and you're looking to check out some of the Sega games, you'll this is probably a good one to check out. I know a lot of people will agree with that. Um, and a lot of times, just mentioning Sega to somebody, usually Street Fighter comes up eventually. Genre really is the <coughs> staple of that genre. It's a little special there. Yeah, Skate's a new character in this one, too. Uh, first one only has the first three characters, which are available here. I believe they're all the same. And then you get the addition of Skate. Right, and next up is uh, Toji and Earl. Actually, I already did. Uh, I played a good amount of Panic on Funkatron, so I believe I'll end up skipping that one. Uh, yes, I do skip that one. Um... That's a great game. It's much better than the first one, in my opinion. It's more it's a side scroller. Um, but the first one, Toji and Earl, is I mean the series is one of my favorite. Uh, big fan of the funk. It was a game I played a lot when I was younger. Um, and what this is uh, showing now, it's an extra in the game. It's a jam out mode, and I'm, it's really corny, but um, I know I've know of a lot of artists that have sampled out of it and stuff and made some pretty cool stuff. And this is the first time I've ever seen something like that in a game. Uh, well, this game, rather. Obviously, there's been tons of mu music titles since then, but... Uh, basically, what you're doing in this game is you're trying to find the rocket pieces. It's just a world you get to explore. And as you can see here, it, too ha it does have a split screen feature, um, which is why I went to a two player game without two people. And, which is pretty interesting for that time period because it's a lot of two player games. You both have to be in the same area, uh, even today. Not every game will split it up for you. Um, I and mean, there's not a lot of locally two player games much anymore, but that's always a great feature in this game, because uh, some of the areas you explore in this game are pretty big. But you pick up different um, perks and stuff. You can speed up. There's different, uh, like, jumping, spring shoes and stuff like that. And, uh, humans, you have to sneak by. Um, and what's different about this in the second game is... This first one's more of like an RPG. Um, and you're exploring. Uh, and more three dimensional. The uh, second one's actually like a side scroller. Um, and you don't get the same upgrades. The uh, presents you find around are just for points in the second one. While this one, they actually give you different things. Um, the reason why I don't really play this game as much is it's just much slower pace. And as I've said a couple of times, I'm a fan of side scrollers. I'll probably be doing an actual video for Panic on Fun Funkatron just because I'm such a big fan of it. But, uh, for now, we're just going to skip it and go on to uh, some of the other games in the playback besides the Genesis. I will come back to those. There's a few I did miss recording uh, just because of some issues I had. Hey, this is a uh, airport control simulator. That's a pretty cool game. Uh, I know personally, I won't be playing it much, but it's more of a leisurely title. Uh, basically, you're just guiding planes to land, um, and you can change their direction. 
I change their speed, their altitude, and it's all about slowing them down, lining them up, and bringing them down. Um, which you could assume, but the way it's handled is really nice uh, and straightforward, I think. Uh, it's really hands-on, it's not make an adjustment and wait. It's much more fast paced than you would think. Obviously this first one there's only one jet so not much of a challenge but we get multiple jets and you'll have multiple tracks. Uh, really have to juggle your time and what planes you're paying attention to. Um, and I did test just to see how the game would handle a big mistake where you hit the ground and interestingly enough you do not crash instantly um, you just lose points or actually you gain error points um, you can see that coming up I'll uh, speed up the plane and drop the altitude all the way down as you can see there um, and what ends up happening is you just get error points because obviously the pilot's not going to fly straight into the ground As you can see, like I was saying, there's two planes right now, and they each have to land on a different part of the uh, landing area. Uh, crazy Cats up next. I skipped over Roller Coaster Tycoon just because I've played it so much, I didn't really need to do it. Um, and if you're not familiar with that, uh, it's a. Uh, I'll probably be doing a video on that separately. Um, and as I was saying before, if there's anything we missed that you want to see, just do a video response if you want. That'd be great. Or ask us, we'll do it. And uh, this game, a lot of people complain about when it released. Uh, it's actually a pretty interesting puzzle game. Uh, I mean, if you don't like puzzle games, you're obviously not going to like it, but. I mean, it's, you know, not an amazing game. Uh, it's definitely interesting, though. Like I was saying, if you like puzzle games, you're probably going to like it. And you basically just have to get the two cat crates to touch. Uh, you lose points when you, like, flip them all the way. And really, the whole thing is done just by clicking boxes to remove them. Um, it seems like the game belongs more on like a touch device, personally, but and it is good if you do use the mobile app for uh, any devices that it works on for the tablets. Uh, I mean, if you're a big fan of puzzle games, it's definitely one to check out. It's definitely more of a slow paced game, but uh, Icebreakers is relatively new to the service. Uh, it's actually a really fun game. Uh, it, it's almost like a combination of Mario Kart and um, like the light bike kind of racing that you see in like Tron. Uh, there's been a lot of games similar to that. It's cool little animations too with the characters. And this, this is kind of like a keep away game mode. I can actually get pretty intense and as you can see the slides leave a trail of ice behind them. Um, you don't die when you hit it, it takes away health though, it breaks hence the name Icebreakers. And you also have uh, snowballs which you can throw, uh, which temporary, uh, temporarily blind the your opponents. Uh, similar to like, you know, like Driver, you have that same like keep away kind of style. Uh, for this you also have to think about blocking off your opponents, uh, especially the ones chasing you or if you're 
you know, trying to get some, the, no, the monkey. <clears throat> Try to block off, not only the person that has it, but the people going after him as well, or her. This is uh, Jagged Alliance 2. This is uh, another uh, keyboard and mouse game, the last one, the Icebreakers, that does have controller support, by the way. This is really a strategy game. Uh, it's not something you can jump in and instantly know what to do. It does give you a lot to do. Um, it's pretty interesting. You basically have to hire these uh, assassins, I guess, for hire, basically, and put them on assignments. Um, it's like a finance managing game. Uh, you have to decide if you want to buy their equipment for them, how long you need them for, things like that. And you sign a contract with them. Uh, it's definitely not a game for everyone. Like I was saying, there's a learning curve to it. Uh, I mean, these are the kind of games that are more popular online now uh, with like social networking games you kind of got this same style of play uh, but if you like games like that you'll probably like this game uh, it just minus the social aspect of it and you absolutely get more leeway with it alright well that's it for this video um, I didn't actually finish the play pack uh, challenge in time, uh, mostly due to hard drive issues. That's uh, a lot of videos, so I only have a uh, like three fourths of a terabyte dedicated to this channel. So, all right, I uh, should have another one up soon. Uh, some more of the Sega titles. All right, thanks for watching.